never say never. never, never, never. Oh, written in the stars, a million miles away, a message to the main. Oh, the seasons come and go, but I will never change. And I'm on my way. We're from Canada. Uh, it was good for me meeting Nick because he was one of the best coaches in the, in the world and. Yeah, it was pretty cool to meet him. He's dead, yeah. <laughs> Sarah Go. Pova, yeah! <laughs> She's one of yeah. them! Yeah. Maria Sharapova. Maria Sharapova. Maria Sharapova. Maria Sharapova. And many years ago, a young girl came here with her father. Skinny, so skinny that when the wind blew, we had to hold her up, actually hold her up. And this young girl, developed in sports but more importantly she developed as an ambassador to the game always has time to say hello to children always and that's what makes her so special so my little girl who's now a big girl is none other than Maria Sharapova I also would like to say thank you to Hogstead and our trainer, physical trainer, Hoggy. You're always welcome here, even when you brought my Tommy Huss. So always keep coming back here. All right, Maria. This is for me. That's for you. I'm in charge. All right, <laughs> Maria. Uh, tell them uh, how old were you when you came here? You're used. You're used to answering questions, huh? Now you're. Now you're asking me questions. Well, you know why? Because I'm looking up to her now. Before, I was you looking down? <laughs> All right, Maria, can uh, Now you? I don't say yes anymore, right? Uh, no, I no, argue no, no, sometimes. No. <laughs> All right, tell her, Maria, when you and your dad first came here. Yeah, I came here when I was all of yours' ages. I was probably this tall. Um, wasn't so tall yet. I was quite skinny. Um, came here with my father, as Nick mentioned. I was probably seven years old. and. It was just a dream of mine to play tennis. I started when I was four. Um, I just I loved competing. I think like all kids, I hated practicing, but I loved competing. And there's something about it that just I, I just wanted to get out on the court. And the fact that it was a one-on-one -on -one sport, it made it just so fun for me. No matter who was across the net, taller, smaller, bigger, I just wanted to beat them. And I, I think that drive just keeps me going until today. I'm going to imitate uh, Maria when she crosses over at the uh, center court. You know, the umpire stands here. And as she crosses uh, the court to get to her chair, her opponent falls on the ground. Now, this is what Maria does. Steps right on top of him and keeps on walking. <laughs> so, Maria, uh, one of the things that I admire about Maria so much is that it ain't over till it's over. Maria, what makes you feel that way within you? Because that's what's so important. What's in your mind when you're really down in the match? Is it over in your mind? Never. I never use that word. And as frustrating as it sometimes is when you're down and out and you could be losing the set 6-0 and not winning one point and, and you feel like so many thousands of people are watching you and it's just one of the worst days in your tennis career. And you know what? You know that until you shake their hand, it's not over. And and they're feeling it and they're also in front of all these people and they have the pressure and it's probably one of the biggest matches of their lives and um, and, and to be honest it's it's in everything not just in tennis it's in you know finishing that school project you want to get it done and you just don't want to just finish it and and write these extra words just to fill in the blanks but you really want to have a meaningful piece and that's the way I see you know my tennis career all right I'm going to look around here and uh Young lady, how old are you? What would you like to ask Maria? What question would you like to ask Maria? Uh, first of all, you're not chewing gum, are you? No. <laughs> chewing gum 10 miles around the track, everybody. All right, come on. <laughs> she takes the gum up. Give it to me, I'll chew it for you. Hey, all right, come on, ask, ask Maria a question. What would you like to ask Maria? What's your favorite training drill? My favorite training drill. Ooh, there aren't too many. <laughs> um, <laughs> what is my favorite training drill? Um, 
I don't like to work out in the gym too much, so I like doing like outdoor things. You know, there's so many other things that you can do that are outdoors, whether it's, you know, taking runs that's good for your cardio. And I would say on the court is just playing points and playing matches. I think the best thing about this academy for me when I was a young kid is, is I was on those back courts and every afternoon I knew I had an opponent to play against. And I think this is like the age where you learn, I mean, obviously the technique and the stroke is so important, but this is the time I think when you really develop the points and learn how you're going to play as a player, and whether you're going to, you know, angle on that ball, whether, you know, how are you going to hit that passing shot. And I think those, I just, I, I love to play. How many hours do you play a day? I play probably four hours a day or so, yeah, in the off season, and then maybe an hour or so of fitness, and then physical therapy, and yeah. Listen to Maria, what she keeps on saying. She doesn't like too much physical activity, but she has her trainer, because that's a big part of today's game. The physical part, the mental part, and the techniques. Maria would like to have a question from the parents. Well, I wouldn't, I mean, well, I mean <laughs> if the kids don't want to ask the question, the but, parents can. But, you know, Maria, people have asked me, what's your biggest obstacle at the IMG academies? <clears throat> the parents. <laughs> oh, yeah. It ain't easy, baby. I'm going to tell you that right now. And it ain't easy for a pretty darn good reason. A child is your most precious commodity. And everybody feels legitimately that their child is the best of the world. So parents, you have to be realistic. And understand that if your child plays a sport that gives them fun and education, a scholarship, and maybe become a professional, that's not too bad. What I'd like to say before this young lady leaves, um, we have had a lot of students here. But what I admire most about Maria Sharapova is the way she has displayed herself on the court and off the court. And there are not too many athletes that do that. So Maria, I'm very proud of you. And please tell Daddy I'm proud of him. And of course, Hogs and your trainer, you have a great team. Maria, give me a hug. I, I paid him to say all that. Did you hear that? She paid me to say all that. Well, what a, what, what a treat that is. This is our Little Mo booth, and, and we have all sorts of uh, Babolat bag tags, and we have yo-yos, and movies, and pins. What do they have to turn in in order to get prizes? You have to win Little Mo sportsmanship points. When you play well on the court, you hit the ball nicely back to the server, and um, you, you shake hands after the match, and, and Kevin here is cashing in his Little Mo points for a prize. Oh, that's good. I'm Carol Wayman with the Thank Marine Colony Brinker Tennis Foundation. I'm Executive Vice President and I've been with the Foundation for 22 years and have organized the Little Mo Tournament. I created it back in 1998 to be a national circuit and five years ago we expanded it to the internationals and so happy to be here at the IMG Voluntary Tennis Academy to welcome 260 young players from all over the world um, from 46 different nations and uh, players are here ready to play today. This is uh, registration day. Yesterday was our wonderful opening ceremony. We had Maria Sharapova join us for uh, a, a little talk with, along with Nick Volatieri and he did a wonderful clinic for the players and we are just so happy that uh, all the players are here from so many different countries and uh, we look forward to a wonderful week of tennis and uh, we hope you'll go to our website and uh, register for our next Little Mo tournament. We have our Mini Mo tournament coming up next weekend at Club Med in Sandpiper, uh, Port St. Lucie, Florida uh, for boys and girls 5 to 10 um, using the shortened courts and the low compression balls. But this tournament is all yellow ball, all full court, best players in the world and we hope to see you next year. Thanks. Our website is www.mcbtennis.org. Thank you and good luck.